Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. I'm going to be adding some devices and making some routines in SmartThings. Sometimes when you try to add a device in SmartThings, it doesn't discover it right away. So you might have to go to the device and click the on-off switch a couple of times in order to make it recognize in Z-Wave. So the button usually on a uh, switch like this is going to be on the top and you have to click it. Uh, so when it's in discovery mode, you need to click on the device. And once you do that, it should then see your switch. And you want to give it a name that you can remember and that makes sense to you. So you normally I give a location and a type. So in this case, it is a living room and it is a light. So I'm going to say that since this switch is controlling the light, that it is a living room light. So give it something that you know you can remember and make sense on the app, as well as if you put it in Alexa later. Once that's completed, you can see that it's paired the device and you can click OK. And then I normally like to change the icon just so that it makes a little bit more sense. Even though this is a wall outlet, it is controlling the light. So I put a little lamp icon on there so that I can remember quickly what am I controlling. And there's tons of icons here. So just pick one that uh, looks right to you. And you just click done and it should update it. And as you can see, the new icon is there. And if you were to click on that icon, it turns the lamp on and it should be green. And when you click it again, it will turn it off and it will go gray again. Now let's add a routine schedule. And you just click add a routine. Then you give it a name. In this case, I'm going to call it living room light on. Because that's exactly what it's doing. Then you just tap uh, to set a device on and you list your living room light. Then you go down to the additional settings and say that you want to perform the light on at a specific time of day. And uh, I normally wake up really early and get down to the living room by 420. And then you click done. And then I'm going to add another routine because I'm switching the light on. Now I have to write a routine to switch the light off. Now, I would have probably put it so that you could have done both actions and set a time to start and stop the action and set the status of the device to be on and then off in one schedule. But this works. It's just not as clean. Click done. And now you have your on and your off for your light. So it's pretty simple. I did one for my fish tank too. Now here's adding an in-wall switch. You have your uh, line and your load. And the load is the going to the actual light. And the line is the feed of power. So you're, you're interrupting your, uh, your hot on your AC. Now, if you're not comfortable with doing this, then you probably want to hire a professional electrician. But it's relatively simple. And uh, I've already got it powered up. So as you can see, you press it once on this one, and it will turn the light all the way down to off. And this is a dimmer switch also. So then you hit it again, and it will go all the way up. And then on the bottom left is your air gap switch. And this is very important. Because when you're joining this into your system, instead of hitting the button, you want to pull that air gap switch out, which will drop power completely to the switch. Then after 30 seconds or so, you can push it back in and allow it to uh, try and be discovered. 
So usually you have to hit the switch up and down a couple of times in order for uh, the Samsung SmartThings to discover it. I have three things plus my phone in SmartThings. And now I can add it into Alexa because these are all joined. So in Alexa, you have to join a skill and that skill can be managed. And so you just go into manage uh, skills and you'll see your smart things skill and it will list all the devices that Alexa has discovered in smart things. And as you can see at the top there, it says garage dimmer and that's the uh, dimmer switch that I installed earlier. So you can see that it says dimmable and you can actually forget these devices if you want to take it out of your Z-Wave network. So now let's test Alexa on the dimmable switch. Alexa, turn garage dimmer to 100%. Okay. Now I'm going to Alexa, turn garage dimmer to 50%. Okay. Alexa, turn garage dimmer to 25%. Okay. Okay, so final thoughts time. Smart Things is a simple way to add smart products into your home. The schedule could be simpler if they added a begin and end time along with a start device status and end device status. So for example, start at 4.20 a.m. device status on and the next line would be end time 10.20 p.m. device status off. Right now you have to write two routines, but they work, it would just be cleaner. Once you've added it into smart things, you can go to Alexa and manage the skill and then you're done. Just keep it in mind that whatever you say to Alexa needs to be something easy to remember. That's my video. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, or subscribe.